Namaste. Welcome to the class. Begin this class in a seated position. Just find any available seated position. Palms on the knees. Closing the eyes. At the beginning of the class, finding three points of the inner support. Beginning with bringing attention to the lower belly, to the pelvic floor, to the base of the spine. See if you can pull the pelvic floor slightly up, engaging the lower third of the belly, pulling it slightly in, keeping it engaged throughout the class today. Pulling the lower ribs slightly in to neutralize the low back. And putting the chin slightly in and up to find the length and space on the back of your neck. Let these three points be your inner support. For the physical postures we're going to move through today. And for the mental state. So this little anchors inside of you that can keep your attention within the shape of your own body. Start noticing the way your body breathes. And in the beginning, we do bring some attention in the belly. Inhale, creates the space inside of the abdomen. Exhale, actively draw your navel in towards your spine. Inhale, an expansion. Exhale, a slight contraction. With the next inhale, open your eyes. Send your gaze at one point, and we're going to begin with a couple of hearty breath. On an inhale, passive relaxation. On an exhale, active drawing navel in. Relax the belly to begin with, and let's begin. <laughs> Inhale, hold your breath, three, two, one, exhale, extend your legs, and with a round spine, lay down on your back, extend your legs straight, feet flexed, interlace your fingers and reach your arms up, stretching your palms away from you. The low, web, low back will be arching quite a bit here, so don't worry about this. Inhale, find the length in the whole body. Full exhale through the nose and through the mouth. Draw your navel slightly in and up for Uddiyana Banha. So if you are not familiar with this technique, just try to engage the belly a little bit, drawing the navel in. Stay in here for three, two, one inhale stretch even more exhale one more for the nose for the mouth hold your breath for three two one and exhale release your arms along the sides 
inhale reach your arms up now without the look palms facing up point your feet away from yourself and as you exhale draw your right knee up to the chest low back press nose to the knee inhale extend your legs you extend your arms and exhale left knee up to the chest nose to the knee continue moving along with your breath each inhale stretching the body each exhale hugging one knee massaging the abdomen the low back try to tap into your own rhythm into your own pace After the next round, finishing up, again extending the legs and arms, and you're going to hug your left knee now towards the chest and flex your left foot. So we want to make the 90 degree angle with this left leg, so if you need to move your knee slightly away from you, do that. Right palm goes on the top of your right thigh, and move your left knee to the side, keeping the 90 degree angle, keeping the left foot flexed. Opening up the inside of the thigh, right foot stay active, and now you pressing your right foot like you have something underneath it maybe some invisible wall you're pressing the foot in this wall with each exhale perhaps this left thigh moving a little bit closer towards the floor inhale bring your left knee back in the center shift your hips a little bit to the left we're going to go in the twist so don't try to go in your deepest twist right now it's just for the compensation of the hip so you're moving the left knee all the way to the right maybe extending the left arm to the side with the left palm facing up and inhale come back in the center changing the legs left leg straight and active pull your right knee up to the chest and then make a 90 degree angle with your right knee moving the right leg to the side left thumb go on the top of your left thigh so you're not rolling you're not falling to the right you're staying in the center come back shift your hips to the right and twist your right knee to the left extend your right arm to the right inhale come back hug your right knee towards the chest hug your left knee towards the chest nose up to the knees rock a little bit from side to side Keeping the spine rounded, we're going to rock back and forth. Try to roll not on the spinal column, but kind of around on the muscles. And next time, come all the way up. We're transitioning forward on the palms and knees into the tabletop. Spread the fingers, press each finger down into the floor. Draw your ribs slightly in so to build a neutral line of the spine. I'm gonna stay on the both palms. Pick your left knee up from the floor. And circle your left knee a few times one direction. And reverse. Left knee go down, change right knee reverse knee going down left palm holding the left shoulder circle the elbow forward and 
coming back. Left palm down, right palm holding your right shoulder, circle forward. And back. And right palm go down, cat cow, warming up the spine. Inhale, stretching forward, exhale, rounding the spine. Continue moving with your own pace. Once again here, find your own rhythm. Start to deepen the breaths a little bit. Throughout the practice, we're trying to keep the breath longer than in our day-to-day -day life. Four, five seconds, inhale. Four, five seconds, exhale. After next, exhale, round your spine. Come to the neutral back once again. Walk your palms forward. Now a few options. If you feel that your shoulders are really stiff, you can just walk forward a little bit and create the one line of your spine. You don't need to sink deeper, just stay here pushing the hips back. If you can go deeper, keep your hips above your knees, walk your palms further so you can sink deeper down with the chest, forehead or maybe chest and chin down towards the floor. Be careful with your neck if you're placing your chin down to the floor. Deepening the breaths. Engaging the core. Pull yourself out of the pose, bringing the palms a little bit closer towards yourself. Moving in the downward facing dog from here. Press the floor away, reach your hips up. Just rock a little bit the hips from side to side. In general, if your heels are not reaching the floor quite yet, always add on this dynamic element to this pose. You know, stepping at one place, one heel down to the floor, and then another heel down to the floor from side to side. Next inhale, look forward. Walk all the way forward to the top of the mat. And here, if you have a couple of blocks that can be useful to place them underneath your palms. Gonna bend your knees a little bit and walk your fingertips as far forward as you can go or place your palms on the blocks. If you can extend your straighten the legs, do that. So working on the elongation of the spine. The spine is long from the seat bones to the fingertips. Head relaxed, face relaxed, you can even move your head from side to side to make sure there is no tension in the shoulders and the neck. And from here we're going to walk just a little bit to the left as far as you can go stretching the whole right side of the body. If you was using the block, you're going to use uh, walk with the blocks, the blocks stay underneath your palms. Inhale, center and slightly to the right. Inhale, center, round your spine, bend your knees with the spine rounded, come all the way up to the standing, roll your shoulders back and down. We're arriving in the Tadasana, mountain pose, toes relaxing, palms facing forward. Today we're going to use the sun salutation from Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga and the whole main set, which we are moving into, will be more dynamic. Eyes open. Find the symmetry between right and left side of the body. Tap into your breath. Inhale, reach your arms for the sides. Palms above the head, look up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, slide your palms on your shins, look forward. Exhale, step back into the plank pose, high push up. Drop your knees, draw the ribs in. Imagine you have the flat low back. You're holding something on your low back. Point your elbows back, reach forward and down halfway. Then point your feet, pull yourself through 
in the upward facing dog. Engage in the thighs, lifting them up. If it's too intense, keep your knees on the floor. Chin in, round your spine, push all the way back to the down dog. Gaze back towards the toes for about three breaths. Again, we're trying to get to the point when the inhale will be five counts, five seconds, and exhale, five seconds. For those who are using Ujjayi breath, it will be a little bit easier. Inhale, look forward. Either step or lightly hop forward. Half lift, palms on the shins. Exhale, fold. Press through the feet, strong legs, reach your arms up. Exhale, palms to the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, half lift, look forward. Exhale, step back into the plank pose. Either repeat what we did before or shift forward slightly, elbows back, halfway down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale through the rounded spine if you're in the up dog. Go back in the down dog. Look back towards the toes. Breathe. If your heels lifted, you can continue walking, remember, from side to side. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees, step a hop. Half lift, look forward. And exhale, fold. Press through the legs, reach your arms up. Exhale, palms to the heart. Final round. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back into the plank pose. Your variation of vinyasa. If you're using chaturanga, move with me. If you're just lowering yourself on the floor, do the cobra instead of the upward facing dog. Ending up in the down dog few breaths. Inhale, look forward. Bend your... Inhale, look forward. Bend your knees, step a hop. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, palms to the heart and release your arms to the sides. Palms facing forward. Taking a few breaths here, separating the feet a little bit wider, but make sure the feet in the parallel with each other. Very often, our feet opening up to the sides. Interlace your fingers, reach your arms up, belly stays strong, low back neutral, lift your heels up. Engage your glutes, your thighs, gaze straight in front of you, inhale. Exhale, heels press down, look to the right, go for the side stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, round the space between the shoulder blades back. Inhale, up. Exhale, release your arms to the sides. Interlace your fingers and let's pl place another pinky on the top. Stretch your arms up, lift your heels, relax the shoulders. Lower the heels down to the floor, inhale. Exhale, lean to the right, look down. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, up. And exhale, release your arms to the sides. Bring your feet to touch. Toes relaxed, interlace your fingers, stretch your palms up, and now bend your knees, come into the chair pose, Utkatasana. Scoop up the belly, strong abdomen, lengthen the breath. Inhale, exhale, fold over your legs. Step your right foot back, knee lifted from the floor. Option one, both palms on the front knee. Option two, draw the ribs in, extend your arms forward. 
you hovering above the left leg, drawing the right thigh slightly in. If you feel the strength, press for the left heel, rise all the way up for the high lunge, shoulders relax. Exhale, palms down to the floor, step back into the downward facing dog. I just stay here, move through the vinyasa with me into the plank pose, to the floor or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Back knee lifted. Right palm stay on the floor, left arm is reaching up for the twist. Exhale, left palm down, right foot step to the left, feet together. Half lift, look forward. Exhale, fold over your legs. From the strong legs, rise all the way up, inhale. Exhale, palms to the heart. Other side. Interlace your fingers, bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back into the left foot, back into the lunge. Your option, palms on the front knee or maybe arms extended forward. Neck is long. Rest for the heel if you did that on the other side, coming up in the high lunge, inhale, exhale, palms down, plank pose, vinyasa. Inhale, reach your right leg up in the air, exhale, step your right foot through, left palm stay down. Twist, right arm is reaching up. Exhale, right palm down, left foot to the right, feet together. Through the strong legs coming up, inhale. Exhale, palms to the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back into the plank pose. Vinyasa. Remember, those are optional. If you want to skip, just move straight in the down dog. From the down dog, reach your right leg up. Bend your knee, stack your right hip on the top of your left, opening the right hip. And exhale, step your right foot forward. Press your heel down. Come up on the front knee or all the way up for the high lunge. Interlace your fingers, stretch your palms up, trying to keep your arms in one line with the ears. Inhale. Exhale, release your arms. Right elbow goes onto your right thigh. Pivot your back foot, press it down, arriving in the side angle. Covering yourself with the left arm, creating one line between the left foot and the fingertips. If that position is very easy for you, make a look. Bring in the right arm underneath your thigh and left arm behind your spine. Release. Come up, warrior two. Right leg straight, reach your right arm up. Reverse triangle, opening up the right side. And coming back in the center. Turn the feet in first, and then open them up 45 degrees, heels in one line. Palms together in front of the chest. Inhale. Exhale, bending the knees, sinking deeper in Rudrasana. Pause here, five, four, three, two, one. Come up. Reach your arms up, interlace all fingers except index, index pointing up. Inhale. Exhale, bending the knees, Rudrasana, five, four, three, two, one, coming up, 
releasing the arms to the sides, turning the feet inwards, toes pointing straight forward. Option one, you're gonna fold forward, sliding the arms along the legs, pointing the elbows to the sides. Option two, you interlace your fingers and move your arms away from the spine, relaxing the head. Palms back on the hips. Inhale, coming up. Turn the left foot out and step your right foot a little bit closer to the left. Feet staying on two parallel lines. Slightly arch. And as you exhale, fold over your left leg. If you need, bend your left knee a little bit. Try to reach forward with the fingertips as far forward as you can go. And here you can place the palms on the blocks around your left foot or in front. Inhale, half lift. Here you might want to use a block, placing the right palm on the block on the fingertips, left palm on the sacrum as you twist towards your left leg, twist the triangle, Parivrita Trikanasana. You can go on the whole right palm if you feel that you have the space. Exhale, release. And step back in the downward facing dog. In the down dog, you're going to press into your left palm. Press even more until you feel that the right palm becoming very light. And then with the right palm, try to reach to the outer left leg. It can be your shin, your ankle, whatever you can reach. And look from underneath your left armpit, relaxing the head completely. Here, the most important that you're not moving, you're not shifting your hips, your pelvis. You're keeping the equal pressure for the right and left foot. Exhale back in the center. You can stay here and breathe. You can move through the vinyasa with me together. From the vinyasa, from the down dog, reach your left leg up, bend your knee, stack your left hip on the top of the right, and exhale, step your left foot forward. Coming up on the front knee or all the way up. Interlacing the fingers, reaching the arms up for the high lunge. Inhale, exhale, release your arms, left elbow on your left thigh, press your right foot down, supported side angle. Remember, you can make a look if that's what you did on another side. And release. Coming up, left leg straight, reach your left arm up. Exhale, come back. Both feet turned in and then open them up equally, right and left. Now we begin with reaching the arms up. Interlace your fingers on the index finger pointing up. Inhale. Exhale, bending the knee, sitting deeper. Five, four, three, two, one, come up, extend your arms to the sides, flex your wrists, press your palms away, inhale, exhale, bending the knees, five, four, three, two, one, coming up, feet in, toes forward, again, two options, do exactly what you did on another side, for prasarita padatanas. Release your palms on the hips. Come all the way up. We're coming back facing the front. Right foot out. Step your left foot a little bit closer. Pyramid pose. Folding over the right leg. If that's accessible, fingertips on the floor or on some kind of support on blocks or books. Working on the elongation of the spine once again. Inhale. 
inhale half lift left palm on the block on the floor right palm on the sacrum twist reach your right arm up exhale right palm down bend your right knee a little bit step back into the downward facing dog from here start to press into your right palm look from underneath your right armpit when you feel that the left palm becoming light try to grab with the left palm the outer side of your right leg keep looking from underneath your right armpit exhale come back from here one more vinyasa Whenever you arrive back in the down dog, please drop your knees down, sit back on your heels for the child pose. Forehead down to the floor, rest. Calm down your breath. Notice any sensation along the spine, along the spinal column. Next inhale, look forward. From here, we're going to transition in Malasana. So I'll show you how we can go there. Palms going towards the knees, tuck the toes under, and then just roll onto your feet. Now, if that's inaccessible, you can sit on a couple of blocks or just balance on your toes, or slide something underneath the heels. Now, if you're just learning this pose, that's gonna be your shape. You're trying to maintain yourself in this position, reaching up with the crown. Try to maintain a slight engagement in the pelvic floor to support your internal organs. That's the pose. You're holding it and lengthening your breath. If this pose is already familiar for you, you're feeling comfortable and stable, so-called sthiram and sukham, um, the lightness, the, st the stability and lightness in the physical shape and in your mind, you're gonna add on the twist. You're gonna try to press with your right arm, your right knee to the side, and extend your left arm up. That's option one. Option two, especially if you did the side angle with the lock, try to hug this right knee. If you're hugging the right knee, try to not fall forward, but you keep trying to reach with a crown up, trying to push the right knee to the side. Look up. Exhale, release, come back in the center. Left arm, left, uh, left knee and right arm up. Maybe look, be careful here. Look up at the end. Exhale, come back. All together, we're gonna press the palms down Come into the fold, grab your elbows with the forearms, reach down towards the floor. You can bend your knees as much as you need. Release your arms, come back to Malasana. If you have any issues with your wrists, you can just stay here and repeat Malasana. Otherwise, we move in the low position of Bakasana balance. You're gonna slide your elbows underneath your shins, so looking elbows pointing back. Palms press down. That's a very low position, means the elbows always stay bent. You reach forward, one by one, reaching the feet up in the air. Hips, pelvis stay really low. Look slightly forward, balance. Relax your face. Find the stability. Try to round your spine a little bit more. Exhale, feet down. Again, legs straight. Slide your palms underneath your feet. Press lightly with your toes towards the bases of the palms. Relax your head. Release your palms from underneath your feet. Bend your knees and then slowly extend your legs forward.
moving into the floor set, no more standing poses. Begin with Janu Shirshasana, right leg straight, left foot to the inside of your right leg. Inhale and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Listen carefully, left palm stay pressed down. You actively press yourself away from the floor. Move your right arm behind you and try to grab the opposite thigh. Look behind you, above your right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, release. Come all the way up, arms up. And exhale, twist to the left. Right palm on your left knee. Look behind your left shoulder. Slowly come back. Try to do it without helping of your arms. Change your legs. Inhale and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Right palm press down. Left arm behind your spine, maybe grabbing the right thigh, look behind your left shoulder. Inhale, come up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, come back. Extend the both legs fo forward first and then bring your feet towards yourself. I'm going to go in the diagonal so you can see. Open the feet like a book. Inhale, chest forward, press your elbows to the inside of your thighs and send your chest down to the feet. We're going to be coming back to this position in a little bit. So don't go 100% now, maybe 80%. Don't push too much. Inhale, come up. With three fingers on each hand, grab your big toes. Straight spine, you rock back on your seat bones and lift your feet up. Relax your shoulders. Balance on your seat bones. Notice how that feels to balance on right and left side. And then press your heels down. And one by one, start to extend one leg to the side, then another leg. Alternating the legs right and left. You can link it to your breath. With each exhale, extending the leg as far as it can go. With each inhale, bringing them back to the center. Next time when you extend your right leg, I'm gonna let it go and we're arriving in another variation of Jano Sharshasana. Now there is a 90 or more degree angle between the legs. We're twisting a little bit to the left then letting the right palm slide from the inside of the right leg for the side stretch, opening the left shoulder and bringing the left palm on the back of the neck. If your right elbow can go down to the floor, go there. Inhale, come back. Switch. Left palm sliding from the inside of the left leg. Right palm on the back of the neck. Work on pointing the right elbow up. Rotating right shoulder out. Coming back. Extending the both legs straight. 90 or 100 degree angle. Can rock a little bit from side to side, making sure you feel the connection of the seat bones into the floor. If need, bend your knees, flex your feet. Slightly arch, maybe that's your position here and you're just hanging out here trying to maintain the upright position. Or you're gonna start walking forward. Thighs rotating out, belly trying to get down towards the floor. Give yourself enough time, 
breathe. You can even, as you go down, you can even rock a little bit from side to side to find once again those lines, the lateral lines of the body. Inhale, slowly walk yourself back up. Help yourself with the hands. Bring your feet to touch. And rotate your feet up. Again, Baddha Konasana, folding forward. Inhale, come back up. Once again, holding on to the toes, rocking back on the sit bones, and then we're trying to extend, extend the legs. They might be knees bent, maybe legs straight. Try to push your chest forward, sliding the shoulder blades back and down. Chin in, hold it there, five, four, three, two, one exhale bring the feet to touch knees towards yourself with the spine round we're gonna roll all the way on the back rock a little bit right to left Bring your right thigh on the top of your left, squeezing the thighs together, either hug just the knees or with the left palm grab your right foot, with the right palm grab your left foot. This variation of Gomukhasana. If you're grabbing the feet, try to grab from the outside and bring the feet on one line. Both cases trying to squeeze the thighs together. Exhale, release, change. Left thigh on the top of the right, maybe just squeezing the thighs towards yourself. Or with the left palm, rub your right foot. And the right palm is opposite foot. Exhale, release. Feet down to the floor shoulder bridge press the low back down engage the glutes reach the hips up maybe walk your shoulder blades closer interlace your fingers press your pelvis up exhale lower down if you're avoiding the inversions, you can just lift your legs up and stay here. Otherwise, we move in Halasana. Reach your arms up, palms facing up. Gaining a little bit of momentum. Reaching the hips and feet going into the palms. You can bend your knees if you feel it's too intense. But keep your spine rounded if you choose in the position of arms up above the head exhale slowly one vertebra at a time if you had an inversion coming back to the position when your legs as well will be just lifted up and all together we're gonna pull the knees up to the armpits and grab the big toes for the happy baby pose feet facing up to the ceiling relaxing the spine into the floor
will be our final position for today. If anything you would like to add on in this class, please do. Otherwise, we're gonna release the legs and arrive in Shavasana. Find a comfortable position for Shavasana today, so nothing will disturbing you. And for a moment, simply scanning the body, noticing all those muscles that still holding some tension. It's not necessarily bad tension, but maybe just as a result of this practice. But the engagement of the muscles are coming as a, as a result of the signal from the brain, which means you can set the signal from your brain for relaxation as well. Allowing your body to soften, to relax on the floor. Noticing the temporary nature of the physical sensations, the temporary nature of the state of the mind. Resting here for a few minutes.
gradually starting to bring the attention back into the body. Noticing the space around you. Noticing the position of the body into the space. Moving the fingers, moving the toes. Stretching the arms up above the head. Hugging the knees up to the chest and rolling on either side, right to left. Keeping the spine rounded. Coming all the way up into the any accessible seated position. Closing the eyes. If you're short in time and you would like to finish the class here, you can switch off this video and move into the rest of your day. If you would like to join me for five minutes meditation, please stay with me. Please bring all your attention to the top of the head, noticing any sensations that might be available for you there. Don't try to create the artificial sensations, whatever is there right now. The sense of warmth, coolness, any vibrations, pulsations. Maybe something is itching, that's also a sensation. Take a deep inhale into the crown and with the exhale, pull your attention down to the back of your head, the back of your neck, along the spinal column, all the way down to the sacrum. Pause at the sacrum and once again, give yourself some time and some space to feel whatever you can notice there. With the next deep inhale, slowly take your attention all the way up through each vertebra, low back, mid back, upper back, the back of your neck and the back of your head all the way up into the crown. I'm going to invite you to continue moving your attention up and down, following your breath. Each exhale flows down along the spine. Each inhale, it rises up to the top of the head. Remember that you have enough willpower to direct your attention wherever you would like it to go. If you have a strong intention to have this practice, whenever you notice that the mind moves away from this particular technique from this particular practice goes in the past, in the future, you know, some fantasies in your head. Set a strong intention, bring it back to whatever you're doing right now. Because that is your choice, and that is the most important, if that's what you chose to do. Continue. The practice of dharana concentration on the movement of your attention and breath along the spinal column, along Sushumna, one of the main energy channels in the body.
Next time you arrive back into the crown, let go observation of your spine and bring your attention to the heart, the heart center. Take a deeper inhale and join the palms together in front of the heart, expressing the gratitude to your own self, to your body, to each other, to everyone who is practicing right now in this moment, to all the teachers. May we all find what we are looking for. And may this practice assist us on our way. Bow forward to yourself, to each other, and open your eyes. Thank you so much for practicing. Uh, thank you for your attention, for your practice, and have a wonderful rest of your day.